contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Acapulco, Mexico, weighing 260 pounds, Lismar Junior! The first ever Lucha Libre USA heavyweight champion gracing us with his presence. And again, that is an honor that never will be taken away from Lismar Jr. The honor and the pride of being the first ever Lucha Libre USA champion is something to be very, very proud of. But I can't wait to see what's gonna happen in this history-making one-on-one matchup. And his opponent from North Carolina, weighing 220 pounds, Shane. Helms! We saw this shocker as Shame Helms came on board helping the international all-star Marco Corleone and how quick an impact can he make as he takes on Lismark Jr., the reigning Lucha Libre USA heavyweight champion. And Shane Helms, of course, a veteran. 10 years traveling all over the world. One of the most well-known superstars in history. Coming into Lucha Libre USA and competing for the first time, stepping into the ring here in Casa de Lucha, going one on one against Lismar Jr. And he is now a Lucha star. So he has done it all. Shane Helms will not be intimidated by Lismar Jr. Lismar Jr. can have that feeling and that passion of intimidating people. It's not going to work in this one. Absolutely not at all. And I talked with Shane Helms before this contest, and he said that he's so proud and thrilled. Can't believe the energy inside Casa de Lucha. Again, he's been in some of the biggest arenas around the world, but he said there is nothing like Casa de Lucha, and he loves to be part of Lucha Libre USA. This, of course, Kevin, a non-title match, but don't take for a moment that Liz Mark Jr. will take Shane Helms lightly because if he does, he'll be in real trouble. Absolutely. And it is the first time that these two men have faced each other in the ring. So it'll be interesting to see how the styles of Shane Helms and Liz Mark Jr. collide or perhaps coincide. Well, certainly surprising to see Shane Helms come to the aid of Marco Corleone, but they're friends that go way back, they so maybe not such a surprise. They certainly do, and, and uh, Shane Helms has been a stand-up guy for his entire career and uh, has always stood on the side of, of doing things the right way. So it's great to see Shane here in Lucha Libre USA, but uh, Liz Mark Jr., I don't think he's that thrilled to see Shane here in the house. Yeah, well, his first meeting with him certainly didn't go as planned. Was not expecting it. Shane Helms will isolate body parts. Does it very well. Very smart, scientific wrestler. Has been for his entire career. Not shy about taking to the skies, but as time has gone on in his career, it's got to be a little bit more ground-based, which is great, because when you fly in the skies, man, it could take its toll. And while we praise, while we praise Shane Helms, Pulling a page from the old days, perhaps, while we praise him. You know, Liz Mark Jr. is indeed the heavyweight champion. He is wise to all kind of trickery and gags or anything else that can come his way. Can you imagine how embarrassed Liz Mark Jr. was when Marco Corleone and Shane Helms wrapped Liz Mark Jr. in his own enormous cape and carried him out of Casa de Lucha? Enormous. That was, that was, I mean, that was like, it was like a royal family well, cape. Perhaps poetic justice because of the obnoxiousness of that cape. Yes. Again, uh, so obnoxious to the tailor who was crafting it. And uh, he's been obnoxious about everything. Well, the referee got in the middle of that, lost his shoe. He's able to regroup in, in, in both of the Lucha stars. Shane telling him, hey, tie him up tight, kid. Let's go. Yeah, kind of got a little break there. Liz Mark Jr., the heavyweight champ, now motioning that that left arm is bothering him a bit. Perhaps Helms will go to work on it. Coming out, three huge overran rights, make it four. Shane Helms now works him into the corner. Shane Helms, part of a huge wrestling contingent from the state of North Carolina. Oh! oh. That didn't work out well, right down to the bread basket. Helms took a big shot, perhaps his left arm and forearm now aching as the big foot of Liz Mark Jr. Look, catches Helms. Look at the cockiness and the swagger. Oh. The ruler of all things Lucha Libre USA. 
Helms takes a nasty, nasty shot to that left leg. As Lismark Jr. preens for the camera and the crowd who just sends jeers his way. And what Helms was doing earlier, isolating that body part, we see the champion doing right now. Well, Lismark Jr. is not the champion by accident, Todd. We both know of his long and storied career and is one of the most recognized Lucha stars throughout the course of the globe. He knows everything there is about the human anatomy, knows how to dissect it, find weaknesses, and isolate for his own game. And pinpoints. And let's, let's, let's remind you, this is not a heavyweight title match. Yeah, the title is not on the line, how convenient. This is a non-title match. But there's a lot of pride at stake. Yeah, that's what's on the line here in this one. Oh, that was just a vicious clothesline. Lismark Jr. pulled Shane Helms towards him and just let go. And what, is, what, do you, what do you want to get a little cardio in? Oh, he's showing off. Right the, now, he's just showing that he is superior. Again, Lismark Jr., he believes that every square foot of space here inside Casa de Lucha is for him. His kingdom. It's just his kingdom. And we are all his servants. And he's trying to make Shane Helms subservient. Well, Shane Helms a little bit rubber leg there, a little, little bit out on his feet. Well, that, clo to... that clothesline took a lot out of him, but yeah. now that left leg back on the focus is Liz Mark Jr. Liz Mark Jr. knows exactly what he's doing. He's evil, he's diabolical, and he take, and to his credit, he takes advantage of it. And as Shane Helms tries to find a way to get back to his feet, a lot of so many young faces in the crowd here in Casa de Lucha have gone silent as Lismark Jr. takes control. Shane Helms had this crowd going. The crowd was playing to him. They loved it. Well, he's one of the most recognized faces in all of pro wrestling throughout the globe, but this is his first time in the world of Lucha Libre USA, in the ring competing. And, and it may be new territory for him, but he will take a lot of punishment before he gives in. And now it's the right leg of Shane Helms that Lismark begins to work. So Lismark Jr. pinpointing the lower body. He's asking for advice from the crowd. What do they want to see? Perhaps a little too cocky against a, a, a veteran like Shane Helms. And look at what Lismark has done. He has really set the pace in this match, and that's what works to his favor. Regardless of the body part of the attack, here with the tilt-a-whirl slam. The slam and the cover, that's one, two. And Shane Helms able to get that right shoulder up and avoid the pinfall. It has been a very aggressive but deliberate attack from Lismark Jr. as Shane slides to the outside, trying to create some distance and get some recovery. Lismark Jr. now on the outside of the ring, chasing Shane Helms. Each man exchanging knife fence chops to the chest. Shane Helms, you could see him begin to tire. He's weary laying up against that barrier, but Helms somehow reaching down and coming up with energy. Look at that! Off the barrier, the cross body. That gets the crowd off their feet. Lismark Jr. as well. Lismark Jr. is down, and Shane Helms perhaps has found a second burst of energy. This non-title affair continues. Lismark Jr. now being rolled back in. Shane Helms finding a, a crack of sunlight an opportunity to seize. And he comes down, flying off the ropes, and Lismark goes down to the bread basket. A sleeper hold being put on Shane Helms. And you, you don't like that with Lismark Jr. because what kind of punishment can he do then? And look at how he lays the big 260 pound frame right across Shane to heighten the effects of that hold. Really wearing him down. Helms. Fighting to his feet, building to his feet, able to go down to the solar plexus, then upstairs, mounting a comeback. Trading punches now. Lismark Jr., Shane Helms. Lismark goes downstairs. And Shane knocks him down with a clothesline. Another clothesline added to it. These two luchadors are putting everything on the line. It may be a non-title match, Kevin, but we're seeing some great action by both these men. What? Oh! Eye of the storm there. Great Hart, move. Put, put this cover in. here. Count to two, and Lismark Jr. summons the energy to get that right shoulder off the canvas. So Shane Helms is right at the ship and now has it sailing in the proper direction. Can he put Lismark Jr. away? He's got that second win, comes out the rope with the crossbody. Lismark Jr., the champ in trouble, kicks out before the count of three. Oh, and wait a second. 
Look it, at this. Here come his henchmen. With but Sadistico, Mar there was Corleone right behind. Oh, look at the big left hands by Marco Corleone to Sadistico. Payback. Payback. The sides have evened up, but Marco Corleone has Shane Holmes back and vice versa. Did you see them recognize each other? Hey, I got your back. Oh, spine buster by Lismark, and that may do it. The counter to no. it. Just no, it's not it. Lismark can't believe it. Sadistico came out to do the bidding of his boss, Lismark Jr., was flattened by Marco Corleone, who stays down here at ringside. Oh, another spine buster. Lismark perhaps looking to finish Shane off. Going out the second rope. Of course, he's got a showboat while doing that. Oh, the set time. It, it allows Shane Helms to roll free. And now he builds momentum with the crowd behind him. Oh. Goes for the shiny wizard. And oh. misses, but the blatant low blow. That's blow. it. The Come blatant on. foul leads to a disqualification. Right in front of the referee, Liz Mark Jr. Knew exactly what he was doing, Todd. He was Here's in big trouble winner. here. By disqualification, Shane Helms. Shane Helms had seized control of this match in a back and forth match. Sadistico was denied by the international all-star Marco Corleone. But just when it seemed that Helms would take control of this match, the cheap shot earning the disqualification and they're parading like they've won the match. Shane Helms victorious by disqualification. He owns a disqualification victory over Lismark Jr.